Hello everyone and welcome back to some more Magic the Gathering. Today we're having a look at a kind of a simple deck. Um, I've, uh, I think I've made a similar deck. Yeah, the, it was a Golgari deck beforehand. This is a mono black deck though. And it is based entirely on zombies and skeletons. I thought this could be a fun idea. So uh, let's see if it actually works out. I think we can actually... Yeah. We can actually remove two swamps, I think. We can totally do that. And... Uh, hmm. I don't think we want to add more blood divinations. Now we got enough reassembling skeletons and gutter bones. So the idea is, with the blood divination, is that we can sacrifice these guys. It's fine, because uh, we can bring them back with just mana. Plus, we have um, opened graves. Do I have another? Yeah, let's add another. Uh, we have opened graves, so we can just flood the board with zombies. And uh, kill off these guys, basically chump block with these guys so that we get more 2-2s. Two that is the plan. And we also have just this as a, uh, you know, just in case. God damn it, I pressed the wrong button. Uh, yeah, like just in case we... Uh, we get a lot of mana, but not a lot of other things to do. We have Josephus. Maybe I should add Liliana as well. Mm, I'm not sure I'm a big fan. I'm thinking Dead Revels might be actually... Remove one of these and add two Dead Revels and see how that works out. The problem I have right now... Maybe I should add Ill-Gotten... Inheritance, because nah, I won't need that. We got uh, we got the two-headed zombies. We got skeleton archer to ping. Uh, it's just the, for the gutter bone. Basically, we need to deal damage to be able to cast him from the graveyard. So that's a bit of a problem. I was thinking of adding ill-gotten inheritance because it, then every turn we deal damage. But I don't think we need to do that. I think this is fine. Let's try it out and we'll see. Because I think. Like, we might need a way to trigger that. Maybe we want more uh, more of those effects as well. More spectacle effects to uh, to uh, actually make it worth having ill-gotten inheritance in there. But I think... Uh, yeah, I, th I think this might be fine, actually. We might not need that. This is an aggressive deck. Like, it is supposed to be quite aggressive. I don't know why, or I know why I have the Wall of Bones. The Wall of Bones are a bit of a, like, fix for the deck. Uh, so that we can thin out the deck or look for specific cards if we are having problems. Uh, it's also a good blocker, and with the Death Baron, it becomes a 1-4 uh, Death Touch blocker, which is actually sick. This is an uh, okay hand. We just need one more land, and we can do Blood Domination on the re Reassembling Skeleton. I think that is a very good plan. So, first... First turn, Gutter Bones. Second turn, Reassembling Skeleton. Fo hopefully, fourth, fourth turn, we'll do Blood Divination. We might do two Headed Zombie, depending on how it goes. Let's see. Gutter Bones. I am so excited today. I, I do some reviews, uh, like game reviews, for a Swedish website called Nerdlieb. And... Uh, it's been really fun. Um, I've been really enjoying enjoying that. Actually, recently I reviewed a game called Tormentor X Punisher, which I I thought it was an interesting game. Maybe not the best game I've ever um, I've ever played, but I thought it was interesting. Quite a fun little short game. It wasn't in the game, so I mean, can't really accept expect like an extreme amount from it, obviously. But it was a good game. I have to say, it was a good game. If I have a Death Baron, the Skeleton Archer becomes a... Uh, basically a 1-1 ping, where I can just ping a, an enemy and uh, they uh, they die from the Death Touch. So that is a sick play. That. Let's do that. Blood Divination. Didn't get any... Um, Sadly, we didn't get any uh, Death Barons, because a Death Baron would be insane right now. We gotta murder those, so it should be fine. We can just murder this guy, because he is dangerous. He is uh, very dangerous to uh, for the enemy to have out. We can actually draw a card with him now. So we really need to murder him quickly. Going to play out the Jade Bear. 
consuming them. Yeah, there we go. This deep root elite is also becoming a problem, but this guy is way more dangerous. Like, he has five merfolk, he can, like, he is, uh, he is basically disgusting. Disgust. Um, is there a point to block this? There kind of it. Four, five mana, Stonewood, Flame Murder, and the Gutter Bones. I think we want to keep it like this. So we can take that damage. I think it's okay. Uh, because we want to keep the. So that we have two Gutter Bones so we can block the Deep Root Elite next turn. In case, just in case. Hmm. He seems quite uh, confused about my choice. Murder. And no counter spell because he only has green mana. Winning! There we go. And uh, do we want to do the reassembling skeleton? I don't think so. I think we want to do the gutter bone. Because the gutter bone says... Oh crap, he enters tapped. Ah oh, shit, I forgot about that. That is bad. That is actually quite bad. It's even worse now. I keep forgetting that this guy enters tap very annoying. Does he have a buff? Well, I'm basically dead. Yep. I don't think there is anything I can do right now that will save me. only thing I can think of that might help is doing this. Did not work out. I was hoping he would block with the... Uh, that guy. No face, might as well. The assembly skeleton. Hmm. Yeah, I'm kind of screwed, basically. I really hate that you, you're facing so many of these Merfolk decks. Like, this is basically the most common deck, I think, that you face nowadays. Not surprising, like, it is, a, it is a good deck. I'm not gonna, like, it is one of the better decks, I think, right now. But it is kind of annoying that you only face that deck, because it is very hard to do something against that deck unless you are very extremely controlly. Or, like, if your deck is an extreme control deck, or if you have something that is more aggressive, or maybe something burn with burn, that is also kind of hard. Maybe I need some sweepers. I didn't think I would, but I might need some sweepers. Maybe a Cryo, Cryo the Canarium or a Golden Demise. I think a Golden Demise would actually be a great addition to this deck. Not a super good uh, start, to be honest. I think we want to mulligan that. Oh, we have a murder. Mm, one more land. I don't think we want the skeleton archer. We want uh, something a bit cheaper. The skeleton archer, the problem with the skeleton archer is that you kind of need a death baron out for him to be super valuable. Which is kind of the problem with him. Um, other than that, though, um, yes. Kinda of okay, like for 4 mana it's a 3-3 three, three that can ping 1. It's an okay card. We are going to murder that Janice Pride mate so hard. Murderer. Boom. Hmm. Benalished Marshal. Well. Apparently I'm extremely lucky on the murders right now. Like that is bizarre. Double murder. Boom. Double banalish marsh. Ah, oh, goddammit. No 
land. Blood divination would be great right now. I don't think we will be able to do that much about this. One more land, come on. One land. Yes, blood divination. Sacrifice that skeleton. Die. There we go. It's kind of amazing that I played three games of this and I haven't drawn a Death Baron a single time. That is actually quite amazing. I think I do want to block this. Do I? I think I do. Maybe not, they should have waited. Ah, goddammit. I'm kind of... Um... I'm, I am in a very bad position right now. I think I can handle this. Is it better to play open the graves first? Can survive another turn. I think playing open the graves is good. Okay. And then we can do one of you. One of you. One of you. And now we block him there. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> that was weird. That was that was a really weird uh, choice by him. Like, why would he? Come on, Death Baron. Death Baron, Death Baron. Open the graves. Mm. Problem is the Healer's Hawk. Like, otherwise we have this kind of under control. But the Healer's Hawk is kind of screwing everything up. Let's do another Open the Graves. Um... I think we'll leave it like this so we have blockers. Because we want to shunt this. Oh. Ooh. Lyra. Hi. I'm screwed. I'm basically screwed. Oh. That's a lot of zombies. Doesn't help though. Unless I pull Death Baron right now, I am basically screwed. Let's play this before my turn starts. Boom, not a Death Baron. I'm fucked. Well, actually, I was fucked anyway. But, you know. Might as well. Hmm. Like, I might be... Removal-wise, might be relying a bit too much on the Death Barons. Maybe I should add uh, the black card, the one that gives um, Death Touch and lets you draw a card. That is actually kind of a good early control kind of uh, card. So I think that would be great. That, that would work. Huh. Let's try one game with adding that. I think we want to remove the... Ravenous Chubacabras, maybe. They are quite expensive. Uh, let's see. Ravenous Chubacabras. Let's remove you guys. Where does, do we have it? It's like a two mana thing. We have one cast down. We should probably actually make it so that we have two cast down and two murder instead. Uh, let's remove two murder. And then we have the. What's it called? Ah, there we go. Blade Brand. I think this is better. Uh, we can give ourselves Death Touch early on in the game, and we can draw cards from it. So I think that is a kind of a solid card. Add. Let's try one more game. This uh, this is a little bit of a longer one. Let's try one more game. Yes, I feel like we are like kind of close to this working. I think the problem might be. I'm not sure what the problem might be. Like, not 100%. I feel like this should be kind of solid. Flyers are a big problem, actually. 
we might need something that can handle that. This is actually an okay keep, I feel like. We have uh, four creatures that we can play, or three creatures rather, and we just need to draw a bit more mana. You know it. I would play the reassembling skeleton next turn unless we pull something better. Reassembling skeleton. Do I want to attack with the gutter bones? I think I kind of do. Because we can re return it to our hand anyway. Plus getting some more damage in is good for us. Oh, that's... The assembling skeleton. Let's go, boys. Let's see if he, uh, if he tries to block. I don't think he will. He wants to keep his 1-1s. One uh, because, what is it? I think it's 4 mana. And he can... Uh... Ooh, poison tip dodge. Oh, I thought he, he would attack at that point. But no. Let's do a uh, blood divination. I think that might be the correct play here. Worth it. No point in attacking because he is only going to block with the poison tip archer and uh, do some damage. So, oh, that's the one I did not want him to have. are actually quite the harsh creatures to kill now. We really need a murder or a cast down. Something to kill that tender shoot dried with. Costly plunder. They should have costly plunders instead of uh, instead of blood blood divination. It might be way better actually. It is way cheaper. Blood divination is quite expensive. Oh my god, thank you, Jesus. Sure. Um, hmm. We keep this, and at the end of his turn, we will summon the reassembling skeleton in case he would... Uh... block this with just two of these guys, that would suck. That would really suck. So I think we're going to keep it as this. We'll save for Blade Brand in case he attacks with like a 2-3. I don't know why you would, like we have things that can kill it. Huh. We kind of need a way to ping. Like with the Blade Brand, that would be a super useful way to remove stuff. Because we could just cast Blade Brand and uh, Could just cast Blade Brand and then ping something with the creature and we just insta kill whatever cast it on. Open the graves. Do we want to do this? Is it worth it? I say yes, it's probably worth it. Because we get two twos instead of one ones. Super worth it. I take two damage, but I get two two twos instead. So I feel like that is. 
There we go. I'm expecting the Twilight Prophet to hit me in the head. Ooh! I don't think I've seen that guy before. He is fucking horrible. Hmm. How do I deal with this? A bone dragon is not really the way to deal with this, I feel like. I have a... I mean, I have blade brand. So that is kind of the way to deal with this, probably. Maybe we should play Bone Dragon. It has flying, so it can start blocking the Twilight Prophet if you would attack with it. Or we can replay the reassembling skeletons to try and get... Uh... Oh, I think this is Because then we can also get him to kill the Poison Pick one. So I think it is worth it. He is pulling a lot of land, and I am so extremely happy for that. Like, this Twilight Prophet is not doing him that that much. Jesus, he has a lot of saplings. Like, if he pulls one of these bastards, it's going to be insane. Oh, I killed my dragon. Oh my god, thank you, Jesus. We don't want to attack just yet. We want to get the Skeleton Archer out so we can kill the Poison Pit Archer. Or the 7-7. Seven seven. Like, this 7-7 seven seven is causing some great problems. We really need to get it away from here. A sweeper would be insane. Imagine if we had a golden mice right now, or a. a uh, uh, if we had a golden mice right now, or a. Uh, or a cry of the canarium, I would just wipe this entire. Board. Yeah, it doesn't matter if I block because he will deal one damage to the dice anyway. Damn it! Sweepers. We need sweepers. That is what is needed. But uh, that has been the deck. Thank you for watching. Also remember to subscribe, like and comment down below what you wanted uh, to say about the deck. If you thought it was good. I think there are some very obvious problems with it. It's not as aggressive as I would like maybe. Um, but yeah. Comment down below what you think. And uh, also subscribe if you want more of these videos. Also have a look at the uh, tutorial series I'm doing for Magic the Gathering. If you're interested in getting into the game but uh, you haven't played that much or you're unsure of the mechanics. I made two videos so far, but there are more coming. Uh, first one being about um, the different card types in the game. The second one being about uh, the turn order of the game and uh, what kind of uh, important parts you need to think about in it. But yeah. That has been me. I am you, lad, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.